next piece you're going to hear is composed in 1941 by a gentleman whose last name was really Ricketts. And um, he ended up becoming probably the most famous composer of British military marches in history. Actually, he's considered the British version of John Philip Sousa. But it was, remarkably enough, considered somewhat ungentlemanly for an officer in the British military at that time to compose band marches. So he wrote under a pseudonym, Kenneth A. Alfred. Kenneth was his son's first name. A was the initial of his own middle name. And Alfred was his mother's maiden name. And so Kenneth Alfred became the most famous composer of British military marches. The best example I can give you is the Colonel Bogey March, which many of you might remember from the bridge over the River Kwine, where they whistled. This was composed in commemoration of the British Army stopping the German Army in Egypt at the time. They halted them in their tracks, along with the aid of some of the Allied forces. And uh, Mr. Alfred thought it was such an important event that he wrote a march to commemorate it. And as you listen to it, you can tell that there's a certain exotic flavor to it that um, speaks of the place that the army stopped them. And it also has hints of some traditional British tunes in it. This is Army of the Nile. <laughs> 